Okay, in this video we'll go through the H1 and the H2 tags and how Joomla handle those. Now, it's going to handle it differently on the interior pages versus on the front page. So we can see on here, we know that this specific template, again, and we'll keep reiterating this when it, regarding Joomla SEO, you're really going to need to see how your, your CSS handles this for your specific template. So once you have your template installed, publish a couple of items to the front page, don't change anything else, and go see how, it was gonna, how it's going to render it by default. Uh, and again, uh, on the home, on the menu item on this link, this is the access. This is the link to the front page manager. We know that when we set our keyword in there and we publish it, this is going to be our H1, and it's also going to be our title tag. So on this page, uh, in a, in a, a di another subsequent article, we actually put our own H1 tag in here as well. And when we do our page um, analysis, and we analyze the page, and we look at our page elements, you can see it's got multiple H1 tags found. So Normally, on a doc, any sort of document or inner page on your website, you're only going to have one H1 tag because that's the big heading of the page. That's what the page is about necessarily. So, it's not going to be an issue on your interior pages. On your home page, however, again, depending upon your template, you know, as we showed earlier, if we unpublish, if we unpublish this setting here, this word, because we don't like how it lays out on our page, or we don't how it affects the flow of the, the or how the, the reading of the page. And we unpublish that. It's still going to leave it as the the title, but it is going to remove our H1 tag. And in that instance, we will not have an H1 on the home page, unless we assign an H1 inside an article like we did here. So if we unpublish this instance of the H1 on the home page, then we're going to want to make sure that our very first article that shows up has an H1 tag in it with the keyword in it, with basically a big title for what the page is about. Now we can choose to not publish the title of the article. And instead, publish the uh, and then the, what what you'll see is uh, well this would be the text that shows up first. So we'll we'll show you that in a moment. But for the most when it comes to the H1s and the H2s, on the home page itself is really where it's going to be the only issue for you. When you go to internal pages like here, the Joomla Community Portal, let's look at this. We know that it's assigned this the H2 for this specific template. Now, again, check your template, and when we analyze this page and go look at the page elements. We now have the H2 is, or pardon me, here's our H1, which is this text right here, and our H2 is up here, which is what we're going to have to deal with. So, and when Google reads the page, it's just looking for the tags. Now, does it matter what order they're in? Um, I haven't found that to be an issue, but ideally, obviously, you want them in order. Um, so, on your your internal pages, check and see what, how your template is handling the title of the article is it in fact which in this instance it's not it's calling it an h2 and we had to create our own h1 with a keyword in it joomla community portal um, and then the title of this page is joomla community portal so it's taking this title of our article making it the title of the page now we can we could put additional words in the title of it if we wanted to have a more robust kind of keyword heavy title um, but I just wanted to show you how uh, the, the, to manage your kind of H1s and H2s and your title tags on all your pages. So in the first video we showed you the title. This one, again, when we go back to that front page, this is where you might have to, you're definitely going to want to take a look at the code and see how your uh, CSS is affecting it and what you need to do as a the webmaster developer in order to create the, the most optimized setting for it. Again, uh, we know that if we come back to this, um, if we come back to the home button, and we unpublish this menu item. We go to the front page manager, and we come down to system, and we say no, don't show this insert keyword text, and we apply that change. So now we're getting rid of this. We refresh our page, and we come back and analyze the page again. What we're going to see is that. Now our H1 is the Joomla Community Portal is now online. This is the H1 that we created right here. And you notice that it's not at the top of the page or it's not the very first thing that Google necessarily sees. So um, you would want, we would want to move this article into position one and uh, potentially unpublish the title of the article so it just sees this to begin with. So uh, overarching theme with H1s and H2s is check your home page, see how your template's rendering them. Uh, and then from there, you'll know how you can manage those on articles that uh, are showing up on your uh, front page. Thanks. Hope that was helpful.